Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today is just a mess. So I have been working on all kinds of DIYs and I'm trying to clean my craft room, which craft rooms never stay clean once you start working and I like to lay everything out all over the floor and figure life out and then I if I can't figure it out I just leave and that's seriously what happens and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, so I started to take things out of my closet because when I redid my craft room a couple months ago, um, if you guys haven't seen that video I'll link it in the description box, but I just kind of threw a bunch of stuff in there and now I'm kind of coming back around to it going like what is in here? So I have a basket here with just a lot of random. So I think I'm going to go through this basket for this video and actually create some DIYs and get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple things and then obviously I'll show you guys along the way. But I have some like cute signs from Dollar General that I wanted to redo that I got on clearance. I have like this, like a little charger. This was a dollar from Dollar General. I also have a Christmas house from Dollar Tree. I have this little charger from Dollar General. I have a little wreath from a yard sale. Some garage sale slash Goodwill signs. I have this one. I have this one I want to redo. And then what else is in here? So I have some of these signs. I have, I don't know if I'll use this, but um, I have like this really cute galvanized thing from Walmart. I think this is from Hobby Lobby. I want to say this one's from Walmart. And then I also have just a really cute chalkboard. And then we have like some little, yeah, I mean, that's, this is just, you know, it's a really random box, but um, I think that I will at least try to get through half of it in this video. And if you guys like things like this, I'm just going to start pulling out bins. And honestly, this was not planned. This was not like I took things out and like this is what was in this bin and this is things that I want to use. So anyways, without further ado, let's do this. Like let's get into this. Grab a tote or a box or a bin or a basket, whatever you have, and let's get to using some of our items. All right, I'm jumping in to the easiest ones, of course, a chalkboard. We all have them. I know we do. If we don't, I'm really shocked. I probably have a ton of these smaller versions, but I am diving in because this is going to be the easiest one, yet super cute. I'm using the Chalk Couture Silkscreen Transfer. This is their Club Couture monthly subscription. Uh, it is $21 a month in US. It's a little bit more for Canada, but this is April. So you can still get this silkscreen transfer. You also get some chalk paste to go along with it. And like I said, it's a monthly subscription. It's super fun. And they have some really cute ones. I know Maze is amazing as well. I cannot wait to receive that one, but I love this one. Farm Fresh Organic it is up the line of my decor. I'm obsessed with farmhouse, but I'm using the color bright white in eggshell in the Chalk Couture chalk paste. And this is what it looks like against the chalkboard. I think it is so pretty. I am in love with this one. It is too cute. For the next one, I went overly easy on this one. So this is just a wood sign painted distressed. It kind of came as is and then I had this wood piece that says home on it. It is also from Walmart that I have had for so long. I just stuck it to the bottom. This kind of reminded me of one of those really simple home decor pieces, but yet super pretty. All right. Christmas. Yeah. If you have Christmas signs, get those out. I, I've had this one, I want to say for two years now. I recently used one and I thought, you know what? We're going to do farmhouse. So we're going to make these fun, colorful spring. I have a ton of scrapbook paper. I was doing that Echo Park scrapbook paper for a minute, a subscription. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Uh, I do also buy some scrapbook paper from Liz from More Decal and Decor. She has some really cute stuff too by Echo Park, but I think it's, it's not the subscription box, so it's better. You're better off getting it there. Or I also have a ton of scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby, but this is an Echo Park version. Uh, of scrapbook paper. It's an Echo Park version. It is by Echo Park. Uh, so I disassembled the house. I'm putting that roof back together and you're going to see that top piece of the chimney did not have scrapbook paper. Of course, I'm going to add it to it. Um, it just took a little minute to line everything up and then I just cut around it to size. 
Uh, so I also have this little window. This is also from Dollar Tree. I have quite a few of these. I feel like when these first came out, everyone was getting them or either everyone was getting them or nobody could find them. So I have a lot of these that I never knew what to do with, but I'm like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of farmhouse decor. I have to have it. And then no rhyme or reason, but I decided to just glue it right to the center of the house using some hot glue. Also with scrapbook paper, I always use Elmer's glue sticks. It never does me wrong. It never messes up. It never falls apart. I can always count on Elmer's glue sticks. I also had this wood piece. This is also from Dollar Tree. Painted it white. And then, of course, some hot glue to the center of that window. So I'm using a Gorilla Glue Gun. I love this thing. I'm also using Gorilla Glue Sticks. I have found they work the best out of any glue stick or glue gun I have ever used. I have had this, I want to say I've had this glue gun for like a year. No drips. Found these rub-on transfers off of Amazon. I will link them for you guys. They're absolutely adorable. So I think they're like $17, but you get a lot and there's going to be a ton of projects I'll be able to do with these. So I chose the pig and added it to the center. And that is it. You could add some greenery. You could add some bows, but I kept this one pretty simple. I do want to add here, though, that these rub-on transfers actually have a sticky top. So normally the rub-on transfers that I buy everywhere, the top just kind of comes right off. It kind of peels right off. But this one is sticky. It's like a sticker. So it does take some time. So definitely seal your projects if you are going to use these rub-on transfers. Because if you don't, it will take the paint with it. They are just very strong. But I think the rub-on transfer stays on really, really nice. Next one, this is a Dollar General clearance find. It's funny how you can have all this crafting, these craft items, these craft signs, and know exactly, granted one, for one, this says Dollar General on the backside, but you know where everything came from, or you know how much it costs, or you know it was on clearance, or you know you paid full price. It's just, it's funny how we can know things like that. Uh, I'm using a rub-on transfer. This one is from Dollar Tree. I picked up one of these not knowing what to do with it, but I was like, it's a new rub-on transfer. I have to have that. I decided to cut it in half and just make a really pretty sign with this. And although it does not match perfectly when you're aligning this, it is. it still works amazing. It still works great. It still looks good. I love that black white on the wood framed sign. I just, I think this one turned out so cute. Although it's not my style, I really do like it. This next one is a Hobby Lobby sign. I'm also using some rub-on transfers. I'm using two packs of these. These are from Dollar Tree. So they have a ton of these new rub-on transfers. I'm not in love with these, but they are pretty cool. They're more like a foily type rub-on transfer, but they go on really, really well. And then if they do start to peel up, you can kind of just smooth it down with your finger and it works out good. So I did have to cut the second one down and then I kind of had to piece together the top because I wanted this transfer on the entire sign. Once that was all completed, I did just use this chalkboard. This is from Michael's and I just pulled off that stake and hot glued this to the center of the sign. Once that was done, I decided to use a silk screen transfer. These are off of Amazon and I will link these for you guys. These are some new ones I recently got. I cannot wait to use the rest of them. They are so cool and I can always find some really great farmhouse silk screen transfers on there. I love these because 
you can just peel them up, wash them, and reuse them multiple times. Although some of the Amazon ones, I did notice they don't work as well, and some of them bleed through a lot more than Chalk Couture. So do keep that in mind. Some of these you might only be able to use a few times, uh, but you know what? Sometimes I feel like that's okay as long as I get my project the way I want it. Uh, it's okay if I don't have to if I can't use them a million times. Uh, now I'm just dry brushing. This is with the Waverly Antique Wax. Since this is super glossy and super foily, I just wanted to kind of tone those robot transfers down a bit and make it just kind of more of that rustic farmhouse since it does have that burlap around that chalkboard. And I think this one turned out adorable. I love it. And I really like the robot transfers along the backside. I think it just gives it some great texture. This next one, I'm using that galvanized Walmart sign and I'm using this white chalkboard. This was originally from Michael's and it came in a four pack in, it was from the kids section actually on clearance, super cheap. I've used the black circles before. Now we're going to be using this one. So I'm using a rub on a transfer. This one is from the Bells and Whistles down on the farm, I think is what it's called. Uh, rub on transfers from Dixie Bell. I love them. This is the second pack I've gone through and I'm almost completely finished using this one as well. I just took some hot glue, glued this sign to the center of the galvanized piece. And then I kind of pushed down pretty hard just to make sure because I wasn't sure if it was going to stick for that long on galvanized. Sometimes the galvanized stuff just doesn't stick well, but you know what? So far, so good. I'm using this green garland I picked up at Dollar Tree very recently. I want to say within the last week or so. And then I'm just hot gluing it around the white sign just to make a really cute DIY wreath. I thought this was super cute and super fun to make. And I love that it's kind of a wreath, yet it is also a sign. Um, I think this would be a really great piece to stick on your front door, your back door, you know what? And you can also actually just probably hang it in your house. I think it is cute all around. So I did end up pulling some little pieces off and just adding it to the wreath because it was kind of like a wonky looking wreath. Uh, so I just had to add a little bit more to it. These burlap flowers are also from Dollar Tree and I'm just adding three of them to the bottom of the wreath. And then of course I'm messing with it and moving stuff around, seeing if it needs more hot glue cutting things down. This is what we do as crafters. Things are never perfect until they're done, right? I mean, they're never always perfect, but it still looks super cute. And I love this piece. Here is a Dollar Tree sign. So I did have that love one I showed in the beginning and I'm only using one of these. I think I may just use that love sign for something completely different. Um, but the first thing I did was just pull off that wreath. This little wooden house is from Amazon and I think it came in an eight or 10 pack. I'll link them down below, but I actually bought these to use with those rub on transfers I showed recently and then right here. So I have a ton of these transfers. I decided to go with this cow one and I added it right to the center of the wooden house. So like I said, these do have that adhesive topper. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I figured since I'm using just some raw wood, I didn't even have to worry about anything peeling or coming up. Uh, but yeah, I still peel these off slowly just so you don't ruin anything. And then I'm adding that wreath that came from the home sign right back. I just kind of wanted to add just a little bit extra. So the house, the cow, along with a cute bow, and then just adding that wreath back, I think it makes this sign so cute. And I think it just kind of gives it a nice little upgrade. I'm not really sure where this sign came from, but I'm using some Waverly chalk paint in white. So this either came from my mom's house or it came from a yard sale, one or the other. It came from somewhere. Uh, so once I painted it white, I actually decided to 
use scrapbook paper instead. I just, the white, I wasn't feeling it. I wanted something funky and fun. This is the Echo Park scrapbook paper. Like I said, I bought a bunch of this. And the sad thing about the Echo Park paper is that it's double-sided. So you have to choose. And it is really hard to choose when both sides are really, really cute. Uh, but this is really thick scrapbook paper. And I do really like this. So I don't want to dog on their scrapbook paper because it is really good. It's really cute. And it's, you know, it's a clever idea to do double-sided for sure. Uh, I actually decided to go back on the sign and use the Waverly chalk paint in the color celery to paint the sides. So it does match those plants. Now I'm using this galvanized, I want to say this is an arrow, but it looks more like a house to me. This is from Dollar Tree, adding it to the center. I have quite a few galvanized items that I want to use. Farm Fresh, this came from my craft stash bin. Is it a bin or is it a basket? I want to say it's a basket. I keep calling it a bin, but I'm gluing that to the center of the arrow house. Once that's done, I just made a little wreath with that same garland that I previously used, added it to the top, and then you can embellish this however you would like. I kind of kept it pretty simple. I didn't really want to take away from the scrap of paper or that farm fresh sign. So we're keeping it a little simple here. And then last but not least, I'm adding a little black and white gingham bow, and these are from Amazon. This is what it looks like when it is done. I think this looks way better than what it did before. For this one, I'm using three of these farm animals. These are from Dollar General. You can pick them up this year. I have ones from previous years, but this year they come in this darker brown color. I know last year they were white, and I think the year before they were black. I have them all. I've used them all. Uh, so the first thing I did was paint them. I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in the color Celery. I did have to use four coats of paint. So this took a little bit longer. Maybe I could have primed them. Probably spray paint would have been the best thing to use, but you know where I live, it's either 80 degrees or it's 30 degrees. Like you can't win these days. I'm using some rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree and it's, I've already used some of these before, but I just kind of wanted to use some more of these words. So we got peace, we have love and joy, and I'm just sticking them in the center of the animals. I decided to go ahead and dry brush these with that Waverly Antique Wax. I just wasn't having like the plain solidness and I just was kind of dry brushing around the edges and then sometimes in the center as well like around the letters but nothing crazy so sometimes you can't even really see it. I'm using this charger. This is going to be a sign. So you can use this however you would like but I'm just adding these farm animals like a farm animal stack like what you see. So we have the cow on the bottom and then I'm going to go in with the pig and then the rooster. For this one, I decided to use my little electric screwdriver to take off that little clip there. This is a sign from Goodwill. It was not $3 and some change. I only go to the discounted Goodwill and I picked this up for I think $1.49, painting it with the Waverly chalk paint in white. But back to the electric screwdriver, I picked that up at Hobby Lobby when I think it was on clearance for $11. That is seriously one of my favorite investments. I've ever made. It is so easy and it's so compact and it works amazing when you need to take off screws. So I have also had this galvanized chalk for, 
I want to say years. I want to say I've had this for years. And every time I think I'm going to declutter and get rid of some items, this thing keeps coming back in the bin because I'm like, no, I will have purpose for it someday. Well, at least today is the day. I'm using those same ribbon transfers that I used for those little stackable animals. This one says simply blessed. And then I'm just going to be adding some greenery ribbon transfers around the edges of that simply blessed just to kind of give it a little bit of color. We, we don't want too much color. This, this is Kristen Kay's channel. We don't have lots of color here, but color is always nice. So this video, I did want some pops of color. It is spring, so I feel like it was necessary. I'm not really doing a ton of spring videos. So, I mean, this is probably as springy as it's going to get now. Uh, we just had snow recently, so, you know, we got some color. So these are burlap flowers. They come in all different sizes. These are from Dollar Tree. I'm using four of the smaller ones, and then I am gluing the flowers over the top of those holes. So you cannot see the holes. Sometimes I feel like you can only do so much to cover up the holes from the dollar items or the dollar tree items. Uh, but if you can find something to glue over them, that works great. So once these are glued, I just use some greenery pieces and just kind of push them inside some of the flowers. I just, like I said, we're kind of going with spring theme. So we want to just a little bit of green, not too much, but just enough. And this greenery is from that same garland. We're kind of just keeping it simple here and just using up items. This is what this video is entirely about is using up your items. Um, but yeah, glue them, add them. I kind of pulled some off, redid them, went back, did it again. As you can see, that's just, it's crafter's life here. I'm sure we all do that. Uh, but this is what it looks like when it's completely done. And I love that I used up tons of my stash. Okay, so I just wanted to show real quick what was left in my craft stash bin um, or basket. So I have this wreath I did not use. And then I have this charger I have not used. So this is just going to go in another craft stash bin. And I was just up on my community tab. And it's probably still there, of course. Um, but... But I was on my community tab. So like I said, it will still, it'll still be there. Uh, asking if you guys want to see these craft stash videos one to two times a month. And then I have a subscriber, Cindy. I want to say her name was Cindy. I know it was Cindy. Uh, she said, what if we can let subscribers choose what you guys, or what I use, which I think that'd be fun. I'm not sure how to do that just yet, but I was thinking that monthly I would just throw some bins together. I don't really have like bins. A lot of my stuff is really organized as far as like wood, but I think I might just throw some older stuff together and then you guys can choose what bin. So, you know, make sure you stay tuned on my community tab. I'll probably just post pictures like pick A, B, or C and then whatever one wins, I will be re using those items for the following week or something of that sort. Like it's still new, it's still fresh, but I think this will be super fun and I don't really do a ton of like really fun, challenge type type things on my channel. So I think this would be a super good one. And I think it'd be good for everybody else too. So you don't have to feel that you have to buy everything as soon as someone throws a Dollar Tree haul out or a Hobby Lobby haul or a Target dollar spot that you guys can just use what you have because it becomes so overwhelming. And I've said, I can't, I've said that enough. Like I've said that a lot. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.